I'm Anil Kumar and this is for the students who are just beginning to start with trigonometry in grade 12, advanced functions, circular functions, trigonometric functions and even pre-calculus students will find it interesting. Now the question here is given cosecant theta equals to minus 5 over 3 and cos theta less than 0, determine the exact value of tan theta. So let's first try to understand the question itself. So when we say cosecant theta is minus 5 over 3. It really means what? Now we know cosecant theta is actually equals to 1 over, or oh, I should have cosecant theta is equals to 1 over sine theta, right? So from here we can write down that sine theta is equals to minus 3 over 5, correct? So you can find reciprocal of this number and get the value of sine theta. Now when you say that sine theta is negative it means using the cost rule right let me write down using the cost rule you know we could be here or there so that means we could be in quadrant 3 or in quadrant 4 now the second condition is that the cosecant theta is less than 0 now in quadrant 4 cos theta is cosine theta is positive not less than 0 it is negative only in third quadrant correct so that means we are working in third quadrant right so that gives us that we have to work in quadrant three so that is the first part now in quadrant three what we have here is we have the value of sine theta is minus three over five so sine theta is what sine theta is let me make a big right triangle first and then we'll figure it out right so just made a triangle now in this we're talking about theta whenever then we are talking about principal angle remember that right since we are in quadrant 3 sine is negative that is perfectly fine minus 3 over 5 really means that this side is downwards that is why we are saying minus 3 so this point is minus 3 for us and 5 is the hypotenuse that side is the hypotenuse now, since we need to find the value of tan theta, what is tan theta equals to? We can find it in a couple of ways. First is we can find theta and then find tan theta. The other way is tan theta is ratio of sine theta to cosine theta, right? So I'll use this particular property. And you know tan theta is positive here. Now to find cosine theta, I should know the base, right? So we know this side is 3, this is 5. So how much is the adjacent side? So adjacent side should be equal to, we can use Pythagorean theorem, correct? So we find using Pythagorean theorem that this side, let me call this side as A, will be A square will be 5 square minus 3 square, right? So which is 25 minus 9, which is 16. So A should always be positive, square root of 16, which is 4, right? Since A is for us correct so we can have cosine theta as equals to adjacent side 4 over 5 correct now using this cosine theta is 4 over 5 sine theta is I'm sorry it is also negative so square root of 16 will take both negative right because when you do let me write rewrite square root of 16 whenever you do plus and minus since you are on the negative side will take the minus 4 value we are on this side of the axis correct so we have tan theta equals to sine theta over cosine theta. Sine theta is negative 3 over 5, so it is negative 3 over 5. And cosine theta is negative 4 over 5. Is it okay? So that gives you the value of tan theta as 3 over 4. So tan theta is 3 over 4 for us. So that is one way of doing it, right? You could have found the value of tan theta by finding the angle first, right? The principal angle itself or the acute angle and then you can calculate tan theta. That's another way of doing it. But in this method, you get exact answer, which is required. So I'll prefer you to do or follow this method since we are looking for exact value of tan theta, right? So I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.